Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a brand new video for you. Today we're going to be talking about the unfortunate collapsing, it seems, of Scream 7, the upcoming 7th film in the Scream franchise. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as we keep growing towards 300 subscribers. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Now let's get into this kind of a bummer of a video. Scream 7 Scream's my favorite franchise of all time. I got the mask behind me, as you can tell. I'm a huge Scream fan. I've talked about all the films here on the channel. I got this little guy always staring at me, giving me motivation. Right? Right. And just, I was really looking forward to Scream 7, because I am someone that really liked the, the last two Scream movies. I really liked the new cast they've assembled. I was nervous when Radio Silence left, but then they got Christopher Landon, who I love's work. So I was really excited for Scream 7. And in the last few days, it's just all fallen apart. First, Melissa Barrera gets announced that she has been fired from the production because her not liking what's going on over in Palestine, and, you know, she said nothing controversial, really. She just put how she felt about all this on her Instagram stories, and apparently Spyglass, the company that makes the new screen movies, was like, uh-uh-uh, no free speech for you, Melissa Barrera, and fired her for her comments, which just caused a huge uproar on Twitter. I'm not going to say whether I agree or disagree, but I do think it was very wrong for her to be fired uh, over these comments. It's not like she was like, oh, I hate Jews. Like, she's not Mel Gibson. But, um, and she said nothing like that, you know. And she's even put out a statement saying, like, she's got nothing wrong with anyone. She just wants this all to end the war that's going on over there right now, which I do definitely agree with. And she's been fired from the production. And things have come out that, like, oh, apparently she didn't have a deal and she would have to sign a new one and ask for more money, which Spyglass has a reputation for not giving women money that they want and deserve, like Nev Campbell for Scream 6. And then the day after Melissa Barrera's firing, it's announced that Jenna Ortega, you know, I love Melissa Barrera, but Jenna Ortega is definitely the biggest name out of the new four big cast members. And uh, now she's not going to be in the film either. And things have come out about that. And they said that it's because of her Wednesday season two schedule. And I, I did hear that like she was going to have a reduced role in the film, kind of like Sydney did in Scream 3. She had a, kind of a reduced role because she was busy filming other things. I heard something similar to that was going on with Jenna Ortega, but I guarantee the firing of Melissa Barrera, she was probably like, you know what? I was going to work my ass off to make this work, but if she's not coming back, I'm not either. It's not worth the hassle. I'm just going to go do my thing with Wednesday on Netflix. And I don't blame her, but it's really shitty news for the Scream franchise because those two were the two main new characters, the uh, Carpenter sisters, and now they're both gone. The other two members of the core four, uh, Jasmine Savoy Brown and Mason Gooding, they apparently do have deals for this. I wonder if they're going to try to get out of them, possibly. We'll have to wait and see. Christopher Landon, apparently is still going to be directing this film if it happens. He put out a statement saying, like, it wasn't my call, everything sucks, quit yelling, and that did not go over well at all. Basically, like, saying, like, hey, if you really are against this, stand up for your star, you know, that kind of stuff. And I don't disagree, but, you know, if he's got a contract, what's what's he going to do, breach contract and get himself a lawsuit? Probably not. Uh, and now it's all coming out that, you know, Scream 7's getting a creative overhaul that, uh, you know, those two might be killed off screen, which would be the stupidest thing to do, apparently, in this creative overhaul. Now, you know what, we'll save that. Now, in this creative overhaul, apparently, they want to get Nev Campbell back, and they're going to, like, back the dump truck full of money out to her front porch, and they want to get Patrick Dempsey back, who is... Sydney's husband in the films, Mark Kincaid from Screen 3. Now, that I do like. I, would, I do want those two to come back, but I just wish... And, you know, Scream 7 kind of feels like it, it'll be, like, the finale, the final Scream. So, like, why wouldn't you want all the survivors together, like, in a big Avengers Endgame-style kind of thing? And it looks like, you know, possibly what they want is Nev and him to come back, probably Courtney Cox and maybe... Hayden Panettiere, and then uh, Mason Gooding and Jasmine Savoy Brown. Maybe that's our group for this one. I'm not sure. I, I I just don't know if I see Nev Campbell being like, yeah, I'll come back. I mean, they'd have to really dump some money in her lawn, man, because I feel like she probably does not like what's going on with the current situation with Melissa Barrera and stuff. I feel like she might, you know, be a little testy when they get her the phone call. The positive, though, is like, if the, I, I just think they should wait, you know, give it pause for maybe an extra year or two, let things calm down, and then bring back Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega as their schedule kind of, you know, smooths out. Uh, but I don't think they're going to do that. I think they want this movie out because these movies make a ton of money. And the, the fact is, is that people like us here on the internet talking about this stuff, we know about, you know, all this inside details, but the casual audience 
doesn't know and probably doesn't care. They just want to see Ghostface, and they'll they'll go see Ghostface no matter what, no matter who's in the film. So it'll still make money, like, there's no doubt about it, they're relatively cheap to make, and people love the shit out of these movies, casual audiences included, a positive note is, like, Christopher Landon is a great horror director, and I think he is a great fit for the Scream franchise, so that's a good thing, and I do like that they are keeping the two writers from the last two Scream films, because I've really liked those films, to write this one, that's the positive of this, that the creative team behind it is still good, I just, I feel icky about Spyglass now, like, I always, I already felt kind of weird about them with them not wanting to pay Nev Campbell what she deserves for Scream 6, and now they're pulling this, and it kind of feels like the same kind of situation where they just were looking for an out, so they wouldn't have to pay Melissa Barrera, uh, her new deal's worth of money after these films have, you know, garnered tons of cash, she's become even more popular, she probably wanted some more money, and they were like, eh. and now they, like, this happened, so they're like, all right, that's our, this is our chance, let's get her out of there, what I would do, like I said, wait a year or two, let things calm down, like, beg Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega to come back, and then do Scream 7, but I don't think that's what they're gonna do, I think they're gonna try to get this thing out in 2025, you know, with possibly a whole new cast, we'll have to wait and see how that goes, but are you still excited for Scream 7, or are you just not interested after all this drama? Do you think it'll still do well, though, with the casual audiences not really paying attention to this kind of stuff? Let's chat about the future of Scream down in the comments. The one Scream thing I am looking forward to, though, is that video game that Supermassive is working on. So, there's still hope for the Scream franchise, just maybe not in Scream 7. We'll have to wait and see. Let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel as we get closer to 300 subscribers. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys right here next time.